Welcome. In front of me I have Fossil Gen 6 FTW4066 and I'm gonna show you how to pair this watch with the Android phone. First thing we need to do is to turn on our watch and you can turn it on by pressing and holding the middle button. Once you see the fossil logo on the screen you can release the button and wait until the watch turns on. Once the watch turns on, you will see the message on the screen saying tap to begin. So tap on the screen to continue and it will open the list of languages. You can scroll through this list by swiping up and down, find the language you would like to use on your watch and once you find it, tap on it to select it. After you select the language, tap on the check mark to confirm and now we need to download and install the Wear OS application um, on our phone. So go to your phone, make sure you have the internet connection and Bluetooth enabled. Once you do, open the Play Store tap on search, type in Wear OS and you should see this application on the list, my bad, Wear OS by Google. Once you find it, tap on install button to download and install it. Once the application is done installing, tap on the open button to open it. In the app you may see a couple of pop-ups about permissions, for example this one. If you see the permission above to determine the relative position of nearby devices, you need to allow it. And then you can tap on uh, more and agree to, and continue. Here tap on allow. Oh, never mind. Tap on don't allow. Th this shouldn't be popping up on your phone. Uh, basically this should pop up, so you should see the Fossil Gen 6 on the list of devices next to your phone. Tap on the, on the Fossil Gen 6 once you see it. Now tap on Pair. Here we can copy a Google account from our phone to our watch and this is useful if you want to use a Google services on your watch like Play Store, Gmail and stuff like that. If you don't want to copy any accounts you can tap on skip and if you want to copy account enable it right here by flicking on the switch and then tap on next and you will need to enter the password to confirm that, this, that it, it is your account. I'm just gonna tap on skip to skip this step and here we can connect our watch to a Wi-Fi network. So basically it will copy the Wi-Fi networks from your phone to your watch. If you want to connect your watch to the Wi-Fi, tap on connect. If you want to skip this step, uh, tap on uh, skip. Next we have the uh, permission to um, basically manage calls and stuff like that. So if you want to use this feature, basically uh, re respond from your watch and see the messages on your watch, you need to tap on next and tap on allow. And, but if you don't want to use the feature, tap on skip to skip it. I'm gonna allow it. So allow all of the permissions. Next we have the calendar permission. This is needed if you want to see the events from your calendar and manage your calendar on your watch. If you don't care, you can tap on skip. If you want to allow it, tap on next and allow. And then we have the notification permission. This is useful if you want to see the notifications from your phone on your watch. And if you don't care, of course, you can skip it. But if you want to allow it, tap on allow, tap on allow. and tap on allow again I guess. Yeah, it will redirect you to this place and here you need to find the Wear OS by Google. Tap on it and make sure that the allow notification access is enabled. Once it is, go back and it should go further. Then tap on next and then tap on done. And at this point you should see your Fossil Gen 6 on the uh, device page and you should see the message completing setup and once it's done you should be able to use your watch. And that's how you pair this watch with the Android phone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving a like on the video.